Whatever you do, don't look behind you. Run! Welcome back to our next Duny Horror game. The Uncanny Test. Now, take this for what it is currently, because this is just a demo right now. But if that extremely unnerving smile behind the menu there is anything to go on, there should be a very good foundation for some seriously frightening shit when this becomes a full release. So, let's see what we've got here. Welcome to the Uncanny Test. What is uncanny, you may ask? Something uncanny is strange or mysterious, often in a way that is slightly frightening. Before we start the test, we have a few questions for you. Press start to begin the questions. I thought the test was the questions, but I guess there's questions before the questions? Okay. Sure. Are you alone? Uh, I mean, there's other people in the house. There's nobody currently in this room. And the dog is in here, but he's... We're just going to say yes. feel like you're being watched. No. No, I don't. What about now? Uh, nope. Still no. Are you afraid to die? Uh... I mean, yes and no, I guess. I, I mean, the idea of not existing anymore is unsettling, but, I mean, there's really no point in stressing about it. It happens to everyone, you know? So we're, we're going to go ahead and say no. What do you think of this audio recording? I think of that um I don't think anything about it that was a bunch of gobbledygook uh it, it sounded like somebody just humming off screen off key very loudly in an empty room and it was echoing off the walls but the only choices we get are I like it and I love it uh we're gonna go with like it Congratulations. You are qualified to take our test. Excellent. The following questions may lead to failure of the test. Failure can lead to punishment. Good luck. Which person has uncanny recognitions? Person one, person two, or both? Uh, I don't see anything off-putting about person one. I'm pretty sure that the person in photo two is the same creepy-ass bitch that was on the uh, main menu there, so we're going to go ahead with person two for that one. Same question. That one is definitely both. <clears throat> Same question again. Uh, 
Um, definitely person one. Person two looks normal. Person one is all fucked up. What photo contains an uncanny figure? Uh, I don't see any figure at all in photo one, so photo two? Same question. Again, there's no one in photo one, so photo two. Now it's photo one, and photo two doesn't have any figure at all in it. Thank you for completing our test. That was it? You have completed the test as hoped. You can close the test now. Back to this. Oh, we got the good ending. So there was a bad ending? in there, I guess, if we answered the questions wrong. So, back to start, leave, or stay. What happens if we click stay? Nothing. We get a black screen. And the three... I... Huh. Okay. So, I guess that was it for the demo, for that. That's pretty creepy. I mean, you know, the idea, like, there's not much there yet, but again, it is just a demo. Um, but the, the idea to, you know, add in negative or bad endings if people fail to recognize which figures are, you know, the off ones, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like it. I mean, again, not much to it, but I, it's a demo. I keep saying that, but you know, it's, I, I like this sort of stuff. Like, it, it, it's stuff that's, you know, some of them were obvious. Most of those were obvious, but I, I've played other things like this where it's not so obvious. Like, one of them will just be just off enough that, like, the brain registers, hey, there's something wrong with that, but it's not immediately obvious what it is. I, I think that's why people like the, uh, you know, the back rooms, liminal space shit so much, like, uh, you know, because it's, it's that constant feeling that something's horribly wrong, but you can't put your finger on what it is so there's just this constant like you know and it's the same thing with these these pictures like this like the most of those are pretty obvious like this creepy ass bitch here but sometimes it's it's not so obvious and then you know it you're just left with that that constant dread feeling like something something is wrong here but i can't tell what it is like that's that's good stuff if you can successfully induce that feeling in people. But I'll definitely be on the uh, on the watch for the full release of that, because I want to see how the uh, developer fleshes that out into a full thing. Uh, all right, so that was the demo for the Uncanny Test. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. As always, the link is in the description, as usual. Like that if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't. We'll see you in the next video.